Right, so what we are going to do today, we are going to change the spark plugs of um, Fiat Grande Punto. Now the spark plugs are from Eurocar parts. Uh, the ignition leads, Eurocar parts. The key itself, well actually this is a 21, we have a 16 millimeters one. That's what you actually need if you want to change it by yourself. And of course you're going to need the key for, for the spark plug key. As you may see here, the spark plugs are in there, as you can see them, right? So what we're going to have to do in order for us to actually have room to work with, we're going to have to take this one off, which is like the air filter and everything. And you're going to need, I guess it's a tiny here, a 10 millimeters one. And let's see how that's going to work, huh? As you can see, these are the old ones. The ignition leads, you have to unscrew this far plug with a 16mm key. That's the first one, and it looks like this, all burnt. It's not too bad, to be honest with you. But... And JK, exactly what you bought. Well, next one. Now that's how you know they are very damaged. I mean, it looks like rust. Rust or something like that, I don't know. It's quite odd. Usually, what happens is that the tip wears off, so to speaking. This tip, as you can see, like this little peel, whatever it is. But this one, oh my days. Let's see how the others are going to be like, huh? Yeah, same with this one. Yeah, definitely they needed a change. Huh? Hmm. This one is a little bit better than the other ones, but let's be honest. Usually, what happens is that this tip. Words of so to speaking the I mean look at this difference. Well shall see the result huh? Exactly the same brand. It happened, it's not like it's <laughs> actually new but it's a good thing you know. And this is how a new one looks like. And I guess you can see the difference anyway. Spot clean. It's to be expected, you're gonna have some sort of, you know, usage bit, not like that. Looks like the first one is installed, almost. Now, you don't wanna you don't want it too tight to be honest with you. 
that's definitely something you want to avoid because it may cause a big inconvenience when you're gonna want to take them out next time now let, let's see how you actually put it in the key easy stuff As you may see, the guys is not quite hard to actually feed them. Just gonna have to here, here, and another one here, another tank. And the last one. about it guys just gonna have to put everything back then that should be it. just checking one last time making sure everything is fitted correctly and they're not loose we're gonna have to put the air filter back so we have to make sure everything is fitted here together. you can see but the back of it needs to be fitted in then just put it back the screws and also this one we had to make sure it's tight so it's gonna stay in position screw it back then and we have the second one here guys that's about it just making sure it's in position also you have this one in here you want to make sure it's fit in that's about it